Good evening everyone welcome to another video from Hacksux and I am Shivam Rai. So in today's video we are going to start with uh, Wi-Fi hacking. So before we dive into this world of wireless technology and how Wi-Fi adapters work, how access points work, how service stations work, we <clears throat> have to know a little basics of what uh, Wi-Fi hacking starts with. And in order to do any kind of research in this wireless topic, you would have to have a decent hardware support. Now, what do I mean by that? Basically, you will have to buy a network adapter. A network adapter is something called a NIC, a network interface card. That is basically the card or the hardware which you use to connect to your Wi-Fi, uh, which you use for Wi-Fi connections, you know, like connecting to the access points. So your computer has, your laptop basically has a Wi-Fi card. Now, in case you want a external Wi-Fi card, you will get one with a USB connector and you connect it and you use it in your computer. So, here I would like to talk about this card that is Alpha. Uh, this Wi-Fi card that support uh, monitor mode. Now, what is monitor mode? Monitor mode is when your, alpha, your card is basically able to, network is able to inject a network. Like, in case of Wi-Fi, you can all the data is air, right? So, you can inject packets in the network of the Wi-Fi and the uh, access point, right? The uh, access point is using. So, you can always inject the network. So that is why you need something which allows monitor mode. Compatible monitor mode cards under Windows or under Linux for the matter. You would find all these cards. The card I would recommend is this uh, alpha alpha card wireless hacking so you see the alpha card is this one uh, aw this one this card is the one you should buy because this is really a very powerful and this will give you decent network capabilities and also a lot of network that's, range that's more than your uh, inherent wi-fi card so yeah once you purchase this alpha card you first look at the distribution and then connect the card to it okay i have already connected it so once you started to start connecting it the first thing you will notice is if this uh, you have loaded this in uh, vmware you would notice that you have a interface if config would give you a, sorry if config will give you interface that is wlan 0 now in case you have installed kali as your host machine then Inside you will have one Wi-Fi adapter that is the uh, adapter of your computer, right? Your host computer. So you would find YLAN 0 or YLAN 1 depending on whether your uh, Kali Linux distribution detects that router that detects the Wi-Fi card that's inside it, right? But this alpha card is the is one which will pretty much be uh, understood or detected by default by Kali Linux and that is why it's very useful. So let's uh, be sure of our card. So if we say LS USB, this will list me all the US, uh, USB devices here. And I see bus device one has Rallying Technology Corp. And this is my wireless adapter. So this USB device is a wireless adapter, which I'm going to use to hack into Wi-Fi networks, right? So the first thing we need to do is, as we saw is setting our card to monitor mode because using monitor mode, we will be able to sniff the traffic and we will be able to look into how different devices are working in the network. Now, before that, I would like to tell you about one more device known as one more uh, uh, tool known as Wireshark. So what Wireshark can basically do is Wireshark has those abilities to net sniff your network protocols, right? So here we are going to use Wireshark and we are going to look into this interface WLAN 0 like here. This is going to look into my Ethernet connection. I'm going to look into WLAN 0 and going to figure out what data packets or what kind of package it's gonna send into the network so let's do airmon ng now aircrack ng is a suite that is uh, pre-installed in kali linux distributions and that would help you carry on a lot of wi-fi attacks so airmon ng start wireline zero once you press enter your card is gonna start its monitor interface so just see that now if i do if config i'm gonna figure out that here wireline zero has ch changed to wireline zero mon so now it can monitor now it can monitor whatever is going in the network now to monitor this via command line i am going to do air dump ng ng wireline zero mon sorry the command is aero dump right so now as you see our card is fluctuating through all the channels that here and trying to figure out what the different ESSIDs here are, right? Now, 
this will also tell me the the bss id and the station that is the access point you see this access point has one station associated with it now of course i can filter my search and i'm going to look into the particular station or the particular access point i want to do and i'm going to look into but that is for the next tutorials for now understand that i am scanning through all the channels and i'm trying to figure out and i'm trying i'm seeing all the different access points that there and all the different devices that are associated with this access point right so here if you see if i do something like iw list wlan 0 mon scanning i would see this interface does not support but uh, i would show you basically this in just a while wait a sec first let's start wireshark and start analyzing what network traffic is so as you see this interface is gonna start and now I can see all the different protocol and packages that this source and destination and every other mobile or every other system in this network or on all the networks that near it is trying to send to each other right so I can basically listen to all of that and I can look in this this info beacon frame this the frame so what what are these what are this what this is basically is if you come here you would see that 80211 that is the standard Wi-Fi has a different number of frames and different number of uh, signals which it's gonna send right so we have three basic types of frames management frames control frames and data frames so management frames can you know, looks into association association all those kind of requests control frames on the other hand look into the control the request to send the uh, clear to send messages we are going to look into that in just a while but for now see management frames i use a wire to join and leave the service so here you have these kind of requests association dissociation probe beacon and all these kind of scene control frames on the other hand has power save request to send clear to send acknowledgement and all those kind of uh, signals which are used for data transfer and data frames are the one which only carries the data so these are all the different qs is quality of service and these are different uh, ways in which you can send the data but basically data frames are all about data so here you see this is a basic Wi-Fi frame or the Wi-Fi data structure here you have frame control FC and here you have a protocol and a type a type is zero for your uh, management one for control and two for data and you have a subtype from DS from uh, destination to source from source to destination you have th three addresses here one address here we're gonna know what what all this means in just a while or in the next videos but these bits are used to tell the Wi-Fi uh, network or Wi-Fi routers what kind of uh, information or what kind of data or packets is being exchanged via the network. Now, now if you see something here, if I open this and here in all these scans, I will see that all of these are broadcasts and I can listen to the broadcast. That is, it is sending to every other client that's there in the network. So sending this to everyone i can just be an uh, i can not even connect to any wi-fi network as you see i am not connected anywhere and i can actually listen to this broadcast so here you would see that even with broadcast you would have different these are all beacon frames right and all of these frames have interface id zero encapsulation uh radio tab header information field here you can see all the thing that beacon frames were the frame control field the destination address the source address and all the other uh, uh, addresses which uh, are being used so here you will also see all the different bit side the way it is set the frame control here is set to zero so i can also apply filters like w wlan dot fc dot type to equal to zero and here you see these are all those management frames that I am seeing now in order to see control frames I'll have to do one and here I would see all the control frames here you see block acknowledgement and all these kinds of flags and frame control wait a sec I'll just put this down all this frame controls and this compressed block request and the different radio headers that are used for control frames 
so this is acknowledgement and block and request so i can basically understand putting my uh, card into monitor mode i can basically understand and sniff the entire traffic of all wi-fi hotspots that's around like if i go to type 0 i would see data and the pro reason i do not see data here is because i do not know i am not connected to these wi-fi networks so i will not be able to read that data and decrypt it now what does that mean that means that when i'm looking at a frame like this this is being sent into broadcast or this is being sent to one host or the other i am just sniffing it and i am figuring out what it is trying to say as it is a standard protocol but when it comes to some data packet the data packet is being encrypted with certain keys and i cannot read that keys unless i am able to hack into the network find out what that encryption key is and then use it to read the data packet that is why here I will not be able to see any data packet unless it is uh, totally sent unencrypted in the network. So this is all about this interface wildlan 0 mon. Now you have a ton of different tools here which will help you uh, pry into this network depending on the different algorithms. Now you would see that Wi-Fi today comes with a lot of different algorithms that includes WEP, WPA, WPA2 and radius servers again that's a lot of uh, that's a lot technical and uh, advanced for right now but for wireless security protocol you would find the differences between WEP, WPA and WPA2 and all these differences are uh, makes it uh, useful for different tools to use and being able to attack the hashes. We are looking into attacking all these tools and all these different uh, Wi-Fi protected uh, setups, uh, Wi-Fi protected access and WPA2 setups. So just stay tuned to the future videos to look into more uh, details for the tutorial. Thank you. That's all for this video.